I'm doing a second video, gonna do it tomorrow, because I wanted to show something. A buddy of mine was amazed by this, and I thought everyone knew it. I learned this from my old man um, working on his old Sportster. But anyway, we're gonna talk about how to bring these metal casings back to life. So if you're like me and been around bikes a long time, you'll remember that the, the motors that look like this wasn't a thing 30 years ago. Um, the Heritage, I think, had chrome rocker box. I don't, you may have had to even add that. I'm not sure, but metal, the motor was raw. It was just raw aluminum. And you had to maintain your engine casings, your rocker box covers, uh, your forks. These are at least even clear coated. Well, look at how crappy they look. The bugs are already eating the clear coat off. I got to put chrome forks on that guy. Anyway, chrome stuff wasn't common. It was very expensive. So what you had to do was spend hours and hours and hours and hours and hours um, cleaning and polishing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a couple of these rocker box covers, a couple of these parts real quick on this old sports to show how I'm going to bring it back because this is useful shit on any metal you have at home. And all you need is triple out steel wool and some wadding polish. So this... Rear cylinder here, rocker box cover, has has been polished before. It's This bike was loved on, believe it or not, even though it's a, kind of a rough shape right now. Um, but it sat for a long time. And this is what happens to the aluminum. You know, it just, it actually, if you could see this under a microscope, what happens is the metal blows out. So if you can see this up close, it sort of pockmarks. And from underneath, it just pops outward. So what you're seeing is uneven, what looks like popcorn, if you could zoom in on that aluminum, and that's what the surface of the metal looks like. So what you're gonna do first is knock this down to a nice smooth surface. And for years, I have used triple aught steel wool. I know that you can use double aught too. Triple aught's just a little more fine. Um, you can buy it at Home Depot, you can buy it anywhere. I cannot find the piece that I got out to do this with. So we're just gonna walk around and I'm gonna pretend like, oh, there it is. So. Looks like, I mean, a lot of you going, are you seriously showing this? Yeah, because I'm surprised at how many dudes don't know this. As a matter of fact, I was at the car wash a couple weeks ago. Dude in front of me had an absolutely beautiful 69 Stingray. The whole bike, look, the whole bike, the whole car looked fantastic, except for the luggage rack on the back. Luggage rack in the back looked like ass. I mean, it was just, looked like total crap. I think it was probably an aftermarket accessory that was added 20 years ago and a chrome had blown off and everything. It was rusty and looked like hell on a car that looked fantastic. So I went up to the dude and I said, hey, I don't mean to be that weird guy approaching you at a car wash. Too many jokes. Um, but you know, you can hit that, that luggage rack with some triple aught or double aught. It'll knock all that rust down and then you can polish it up. And yes, you'll have to do it regularly, but at least it won't look like rusty ass in the back of your pristine 69 Stingray. And he was like, what? Wait a minute. So this guy didn't know about it. This guy works on his Stingray and didn't know that you can knock down pock marks on metal with, with, with triple aught and then polish it up with wadding polish. So he like, where do I go? And he's on his way to Home Depot from, from there. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna first take the triple lot and knock this down to get a smooth surface. And I've already done the front cylinder, so bam. So, I mean, yes, it's not perfect. What I'm trying to say is you're trying to smooth it out, right? So this guy started like that, see how dull it is? And it looks like that. So. Now, the, the wadding polish, in theory, and I still got to hit it one more time, is going to take out some of the sort of swirling and, and the sort of like raindrop effect on there. And you can see as I use it, it still gets better. I didn't do the best job on earth. And, of course, you can use power tools, you know, with, with a tip on there to, to, to make this really, really perfect. But if you've got a piece over here, let's start over here. All right, so look. Look right there and how that looks. And yes, the discoloration's still there, but look at how the metal shines now. That's what you're trying to do first, is get this to look like a smooth surface. I'm not gonna sit here and polish this thing on the camera for an hour, but you get the idea. So let me get at this and knock these down to get that sort of finish, at least on these. And then when I'm done with that, we'll go back to the wadding polish. So we'll be back. All right, so. We knocked her down smooth. You can see that you got, no, you're, you, again, you're gonna have all kinds of discoloration stuff in there, but you knocked it down smooth. That's job one. We've done that with triple lot steel wool. Now I'm gonna take my ancient, probably expired 
not so good metal wadding polish. Um, I've had this can forever, it lasts a long time. Uh, but it works pretty well. So what you're looking at, I mean, yeah, some people say I like Mother's. Somebody's right this saying, I like Mother's me uh, metal polish. And yeah, of course, that's not bad stuff. It's just what my grandfather always used was wadding polish. And there's a million different companies that make it. This one likes to seal their cans so that a grown ass man cannot, holy shit. Yeah, it's fine. There we go. Whoo, that's funky. So yeah, that's what you're looking at. And you tear out a piece and you go to town. Again, this stuff's probably expired, and doesn't work as well. I know Eagle One makes one. Um, a bunch of companies make this stuff, but what you're doing is, I'm gonna do a spot right here. As you're gonna hit it, it's gonna turn dark. You're gonna wait for that stuff to turn black and nasty looking, and then you're gonna polish that off. So I'm not gonna make you guys, you know, sick to your stomach watching this while I do it, even though you already see a little bit of a difference. But I'm gonna do this for a bit and then I'll be back in a minute. I can hear my grandfather right now. So I spent many of my weekends working on dad's motor because his was a 1200 Sportster when I was little. Um, with this like, raw aluminum you know, uh, covers. And we'd sit there and polish and polish and polish and then he would say, boy, keep polishing. And then I would keep polishing and da, 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 da. And I did like, mind you, his motor never got this bad. So this one's never gonna come back that perfectly unless I pull those covers off, take them to a shop and have them wheel, wheel polished, which is, you know, a mop wheel with the red clay stuff and you sort of, it's dark in here. And then you sort of really um, bring them up. You can make them damn near look like chrome. I actually like the look of polished metal way more than chrome on a bike like this though. Like my dad said the other night, who's by the way, safe and sound in New Mexico now, I've been riding his trike all across the country. Um, and he says, you should put chrome rocker box covers on that bike. No, nope. I, I want it to look authentic. This bike was built a long time ago and it was built to look a certain way. It's a victim of the uh, period a little bit with the spikes and the whatnot, but we were fixing that stuff and putting it back to where, you know, Paco intended it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think there's a greater depth to the look of the metal, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, you'll see in a minute, because right now I'm letting this stuff cloud up. And I'll tell you right now, it's not gonna look that good because that stuff's raunchy. <laughs> it's so rotten. Like, that wadding stuff, I think is probably 20 years old. So that wadding polish, get yourself a fresh can. Not even that wet. And uh, it's not turning black like it's supposed to. So it's just, this stuff's just horrible. It smells like a goat's ass in here. So. Uh, I'm gonna let this cloud up and then polish it off and I'll show you. I should have left one totally untouched. I'm not good at this. We'll be back in a minute. This is not exciting. Or maybe you are getting excited looking at me like this. I don't know. I'm thinking right now how many of you are laughing at me. I'm rubbing the damn rocker box cover. Don't be sick. Um, right now, <laughs> I can picture some of you out there going, what in the hell is this boy doing? Um, you know, polishing on the rocker box covers on a bike that don't run or even turn over. Well, we all have our mental illnesses and this one's mine. Look how cockeyed he works. Got fucking brand new windshield wipers for a busted windshield. So here you have the manual way of doing it. And Shines like a new penny, or a penny that was at the bottom of a well for a couple years, and then, you know, yeah. So, anyway, I like it. This is exactly what I was going for, and that is to get rid of the, the, the cloud, you know, off the surface, and get a nice shine to it, but still leave it look like what it is, which is raw aluminum, you know? Aluminium, as you Brits say. But... I'm pleased with that. I don't think I'm gonna go any further. I mean, can I take them off, take them to a shop? You know, I don't have a, a, a vice or a, I don't even have a proper workbench in here, which is terrible, I don't have room for it. But uh, my old place, yeah, I mean, I could have wheeled them and gotten them really shiny. But honestly, in my opinion, let me know what you think. I think that'd be too much. I think that these need to stay kind of raw looking and kind of real like the bike is gonna look. So that's where we got now this was interesting here we got an area here that i've hit 19 times it stays cloudy <laughs> that looks like somebody's hit it with a wheel 
or they try to and it gets real rough along the edge here but anyway that's how i spent most of my childhood i hope it helps somebody out there if you got a rough spot on your bike hit it with some triple aught or double aught some wadding polish get some new stuff i'm gonna get some new stuff and do this again because i guarantee my shit just ain't working it's just funky so that's all for today today because i'm filming this yesterday you'll be seeing this on friday the 18th which is live stream day so at 8 p.m tonight come on back me and mrs monkey are gonna hang out and have a whole bunch of drinks tell some stories we'll talk about you know pending sturgis stuff it's my chance to get your feedback and stuff you want to hear you know to be seen on the channel and this and the other and we'll just have some fun together just hang out it's a family meeting so we'll all talk tonight this is weird and uh see y'all soon take care of each other bye